Hey, Walking Dead fans, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone is having a great holiday. We're moving into Christmas and on into the new year, and hopefully it'll be a new year, you know what I'm saying? This will be a news video. It'll be a roundup of the Walking Dead universe news, just some, a lot of sporadic stuff. I haven't done a news video in a while, and there's just a lot of sporadic news items. And if you'd like, subscribe to the channel for a lot of Walking Dead content. And if you think you're subscribed, maybe check because YouTube's been unsubscribing people. Um, check on that notification bell also. I definitely appreciate that. And the first item up will be Daryl and Carol news. As far as the extra episodes that's coming early 2021, we may see Daryl and Carol in several of them. The Diverged episode that I'll link a couple of clips down in the description below. These are table reads, kind of a little hint into the scene what it will be or could be and how they're going to produce it not a lot of explanation goes on but it looks like diverged being crossroads and daryl and carol come to a crossroads and literally one goes one way one goes the other and they kind of split up i was thinking you know when i saw that and read that i was thinking is this a look back in time when they diverge and maybe they were out looking for rick or around about the time rick left the show and Daryl went off on his own to just keep looking for Rick out on his own for a long time. But I think maybe the diverged episode is a more current one after the whisperer war, but we will see some of Daryl's time out in the wilderness by himself looking for Rick. But the scene looks pretty cool. They've released several table reads up to this point about the extra episodes and it all looks good. It all looks interesting. The production was limited and the characters won't be as many because they may have focused on just a character or two like Daryl and Carol throughout an entire episode, but we understand the production limits and we just want some more Walking Dead content. And to see a little more, it expands the story just that much more. And you can find those links in the description once you finish this video, of course. And in an interview, Julia Ormond, who plays Lieutenant Colonel Elizabeth Kublik, called the CRM, Civic Republic Military, a branch or part of Civic Republic, a force that threatens to overwhelm the entire Walking Dead universe. We've seen the three circles, the helicopters in all three shows now, The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, and World Beyond. She said it's kind of neat to come in on that level because there's been all of this buildup around the CRM, and who are they? What are they going to find out? When I've watched The Walking Dead as a series, you're kind of watching it and feeling the impact of communications going down, all of these things that we rely on for everyday life. We're watching Rick Grimes and his family and these battles that are going on between these different establishments and safe havens or havens at risk and communities. And there's a sense of, well, I wonder what's going on in Germany or I wonder what's going on in Asia or I wonder if there's a stronghold that is somewhere out there. So there's definitely something about coming in with the CRM as this bigger entity it's the secrecy piece of it that i think makes it suspicious for the kids because why does it need to be so secret and it feels brutal there's a tone to it that that separation of family in the name of sacrifice tells us something about the crm and it tells us something about the people within it and the leadership style and politics behind it what's the philosophy politically behind that approach and so what we find out about in The Walking Dead World Beyond is that there is this force out there that could be overwhelming to these other characters that we've come to know and love in The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead that suddenly could turn tables on people. And this came from an interview with the AMC blogs um, on the AMC website. And CRM definitely is a big story written into the universe that they're taking, that they're going to be hanging with, with the movies and stuff. That's where Rick went. That's who saved Rick. It's just a... I mean, it's a crucial point now. It's in all three shows. It's something you got to pay attention to going forward because we've really come to the end of the comic story, and Robert Kirkman is in on all of this. He's helped write some of the shows. He's helped the direction. He's helped on the movie and the script and all of that. So Robert Kirkman's in on it as well. And let's just say, what if Robert Kirkman kept the comic going? Would he have introduced some big existential threat like CRM in the comics as well. This is just an extended story. It's a different universe than the comics, of course, but hey, we got CRM and you kind of got to pay attention to all the shows to really, really get it. Or of course, you could just watch my channel and keep up with all the news there. 
CRM is just a really big faction that's come to light and could actually destroy any group they wanted to practically. So it'll be very interesting to see how they're taken down. Uh, this new character introduced, Hope, seems to be a rebel. Is she going to play a part? Or is she just, uh, World Beyond is just an introduction into their mythology and it's going to be 100% Rick. Will the professor, the dad, scientist guy, Hope's dad, will he play any part in the rebellion? How's the rebellion even going to take place? How's it going to look? Will it be an attack from the outside armies like Commonwealth and all of our people together? Or will it really be something from the inside? I kind of think that'll be the first movie. Rick could get out somehow and then there'll be the big confrontation later. So even though the Walking Dead comic ended over a year ago now, Robert Kirkman created a comic called Solid Blood, and for some weird reason that I don't know yet, it starts at number 17. Not one or two or three, but number 17. And it's an alternate reality comic, and in that alternate reality, Michonne never appeared in the Walking Dead universe, but she appeared here in this universe, the Solid Blood universe. And she was just brutally killed in the comic as well. So like I say, it starts at issue 17. It was written like it's from an alternate reality where The Walking Dead wasn't a success. And Kirkman said in a YouTube video he had no idea where the comic came from and it was the most confusing book he had ever seen. But that's all, of course, part of the marketing. So if you are confused already, so am I. I think a bunch of people are. Robert Kirkman himself that came up with the idea may be confused. And it almost seems like a Christopher Nolan thing. If you guys seen Tenet and some of those movies that Nolan's done, of course, it's just about time and forth in time, back in time, twist in time. It's really hard to get your head around sometimes. Kirkman's pulling a Christopher Nolan type thing. He's like, I'm going to start with issue 17 in the first few frames. Michonne's going to die, but she really had a big story leading up to this and the rest of the issues. But I don't know if you're going to see them or not, because I don't really know where this comic book came from. And even in the letter section, Kirkman talks about how Solid Blood was the first series of his to reach 25 issues. Of course, all of this he's making it up and that he included a character called Michonne in the book after she was supposed to appear in a series called Dead Planet and then in The Walking Dead before it ended up not hitting 15 issues so in this alternate reality she became one of the heroes of Solid Blood where she would meet her end at the hands of Necromonger so Solid Blood is definitely something you guys that know more about it can let people like me and other fans that don't know a lot about it maybe know more about it down in the comments below AMC had a The Walking Dead Christmas special. If you guys caught it, we got some few facts and news and stuff from that from Scott Gimple. And I've already done videos on that. Actually, you can check them out on the channel, some recent videos. But then The Walking Dead I Love Georgia cast trivia battle thing happened. And this was for the Senate runoff in Georgia. And a lot of the characters came back because they work in Georgia. They've lived in Georgia, you know, and they know the Georgia people. So they're really, really into what's happening in Georgia, especially in stuff of the government that could pass laws like tax-exempt status for film and different things like that. So AMC and The Walking Dead production definitely pays attention to the politics and in a big reason because of the bottom line. But several of the actors were there, including Denai, who plays Michonne, and Andy, who plays Rick. Lenny James was there, Sonequa Martin-Green, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Norman Reedus, Christian Serratos... Lauren Cohen was there, Carrie Payton, Yvette Nicole Brown did the hosting of the show. And a couple of takeaways we can have from Andy is that he hoped he said Carl better as he went along. Earlier in the first few seasons, it was more the Coral. And later on, he thought he did a little better saying Carl. They talked about that a little bit. It was a funny moment. And jokingly, as I've seen a bunch of articles and actually video titles saying that Andy said this, or Rick said, Andrew Lincoln said that it was a terrible decision to leave the show. Um, he went to stay with his kids, and now his kids are tired of him. But he said all of that in a joking way. He did say it. Oh, it was a terrible decision to leave the show. I went home to my kids, and now they're getting tired of me, and all this different kind of stuff. But he was just joking when he said all of that. And as I say, it was all funny, all in good humor. And while we're on the subject of Andrew Lincoln and Rick, he did say also that he hopes 
keyword, hopes that they start filming the Rick movie in spring of 2021. That's pretty awesome. We may not get the film until 2022, but still, as the way the season's playing out and everything, that may be okay timing. It'd be great to get it by the end of 2021, but I just don't know about that. And like I said, Andrew Lincoln said he hopes they start filming. The vaccines are out there. Everybody's putting good production protocols into place. They're figuring out how to do it through the pandemic. Other production companies are going through stuff that they're learning. You know, before AMC jumps into the movie, they already are looking at other people who are and seeing what's going right what's going wrong and hopefully they can learn from that and with the vaccines and with everything else spring 2021 sounds like a good damn time to start uh filming no later no later andy but that'll be it for this news roundup some more videos coming up some about some actors who thought maybe they were treated wrong i've got some character videos coming up and through the christmas and new year's break i'll also be reviewing some other stuff outside of the walking dead realm just to get some conversation going. Happy holidays, this is James in Nashville. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more dead stuff.